So it is like the worst weather ever out there right now. And I'm in this nice, toasty, beautiful room that's just very warm and awesome. And I don't want to leave. And I really was thinking about, well, I mean, how can I just stay here so I don't have to walk from here back to the house and deal with the cold and the wretchedness, even though I've got my cool little little vest thingy going on and keeps me a little bit warmer. And then I realized that I can't just stay here today because I get to use the product that we are making today as a reward for having completed my day in the house. I can't do that here. There's no bathtub in the pontoon. I'm going to tell you what it is that we're making today in just a minute, but before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 175 of 365 days of soap, and day seven of 10 days of thanks, and today we are making bubble bars. And we are making not only just regular bubble bars, we're not doing the jelly rolls this year, we're not doing the weird, you know, snowmen and stuff like we did last year, we are doing bubble bar ice cream scoops. And I think we talked about it in the what should your holiday lines, you know, video be thing, you get it. And I had said that those didn't really sell as well as I thought they were going to. But here's the thing. One of the new soap apprentices found my ice cream scoops and she's like, Ooh, what do you use these for? And I'm like, for bubble bars. And she's like, Oh, I want to try. And you know, it was time to teach her. So she wanted to do this and I thought, Hey, why not? Why not? They always sell really well in sets. I'm probably not going to put them in little gift sets. Although, as our inventory is already dwindling for the holiday season, I might, in a pinch, have to make some new gift sets, and that will be included instead of the ones that we've been doing. But yes, they are definitely cool and cute and beautiful and a lot of fun for the Soprentice to learn how to make. So let's go there, and we can watch her make it. Okay, so a couple things. First, this is uh, being impressed by the Soprentice's Big Skills Part the Third. Second, we're making bubble bombs. Third, it's the seventh day and ten days of thanks. And just between you and me, 12 months of soap gift sets are the ones that drop today. So there you go. And um, also, because this is kind of fun for me, and I know that we've done a lot of recipes before, but first things first, I want you to pay attention to the Soprentice and the way that she kneads the dough on the counter, like it's actual dough. When she first saw the process, she was like, oh, now this is something that like I understand. Like the first thing that I get in this, this is familiar. And she's literally kneading this like bread dough. And this is, again, Part of her upbringing, they make a lot of bread. And I will be goddamned if this recipe and that manipulation of the, the dough for the bubble bars, the solid bubble bath, did not create just the best, coolest bubble bars that we have made to date. So I know that I have made, given you, I've given you bubble bar recipes before on the channel. And but I just want to do this because it's really fun. I actually modified this recipe on the fly for this because we were out of uh, cream of tartar. 
And for the people who actually stick around and listen to everything and don't just watch this and, you know, zoom through and whatever, I'm going to give you a recipe. But then we're going to play along at the end, right? Like when I go back to the, the face vid thing, I, I'm... I'm not, I'm, I'm going to specifically tell you that I didn't give you a recipe and go look at the rest of my shit. Okay. So it's all part of our little, little secret. It's all part of our fun. Here's the recipe as follows. You got to write it down. Pause. Okay. Now ready? It's 10 ounces of baking soda. Okay. Seven ounces SLSA. Okay. One ounce of meringue powder. One and a half ounces of citric acid and 1.5 ounces of cornstarch and 0.5 ounces of kaolin clay. Okay. This is a, this is a cream of tartar free recipe because I didn't have any cream of tartar. Now, those are the dry ingredients. I'm not done with the recipe. I'm just explaining why I had to modify this. I had no cream of tartar, none cream of tartar to be had. And so I'm like, well, what does cream of tartar do in bubble bombs? Well, it's, or in bubble bars. Well, it helps with the firming. It also helps with the kind of fluffiness that, so you get like the cool lamination going on. And it also helps with distributing the SLSA and the bubbling properties, right? And so I'm like, okay, so the meringue can actually help out with the holding of shape. So let's sub in meringue for that. And the citric acid will help distribute the bubbles. So let's sub citric acid in as well. Ultimately, this recipe used to be two and a half ounces of cream of tartar. Now it's one ounce of meringue and one and a half ounces of citric acid. And I'll be goddamned if that didn't work. That's awesome. Now to the liquid. We're not done. We're not done. For the liquid ingredients, one and a half ounces of cocoa butter, melted. 4.4 ounces of glycerin for me. I live in a less humid environment. It's humid, but not as humid as like Florida. Okay. You, you use less glycerin if you're in a more humid environment and more if you're in a less humid environment, you get it. And, uh, you know, 3% of the scent and a little bit of poly because we're using micas, a little bit of poly freaked the Soprentis out. And so she actually weighed it as I was, you know, looking at her splooch. Cause I'm like, it's just a sploosh. Just do a sploosh. And so she put it on the scale and freaking weighed it. The answer to how much poly is 0.5 ounces. That's what a sploosh is. So there you go. And it was a beautiful bubble bar recipe. Like, as you can see, she is having exactly none problems with any of this. The consistency is right. It's not sticky. It's not, well, it's not like, falling. It's not like so heavy that the, the scoops are falling. They're losing shape. These are all freaking perfect little bubble scoops. And I think, well, a, it's a, it's a functional recipe. It's a functional recipe. Okay. So that the, the recipe works and it's good and it produces big, amazing, awesome bubbles, all of the jazz. But I think one of the reasons why this is so beautiful and working so well is because of her extra kneading stage on the counter before she starts messing with the stuff to, you know, make her scoops. So, I mean, you could do this for a jelly roll, do the extra kneading before patting it down. You could, I mean, she literally kneaded that shit like bread. I've never done that with my bubble bar bat, um, dough. Have you ever done that? I've never done that. I've let the thing do its work, the, the KitchenAid do its, its work, and then I just kind of flatten it out and do the thing thing. She needed it. And so I guess there's no... Because you know how like when you make tortillas, for example, there there's a... Uh, you, you don't want to overwork the batter or the, the dough. Same with like uh, biscuits. You never want to overwork the dough. That's apparently not a thing here. Working it a little bit extra more on the counter and doing the thing thing worked out really well. Something about elasticity and stuff. I don't know. Bakers can weigh in on that. The chemistry of baking is wildly different. But this freaking worked. And that was cool. And so again, I gave you a recipe. Don't tell your friends. Only the people who actually listen to the videos get this. But 
all of these bubble scoops have been completely perfect. But we're going to talk about the actual bubble scoops, like in the size and the, the weights and everything next. So, you know, hold, please. Thank you. It's also an interesting thing there. You see the blue there that it, it looks a little sticky, right? And we obviously sprinkle the counter with some baking soda to avoid the stick. But this whole process of just doing that extra kneading thing and getting some more baking soda evenly distributed through the whatever pro tip need your bath bombs yesterday or your bubble bars yesterday you got a pro tip about bath bombs and painting them use a little foam brush look at all the cool shit the new soap apprentice is teaching us all isn't it fun god i love this i adore my life I adore learning new things from other people in areas that I didn't think I could actually learn anything new in. And it's just cool. And every time I just, I just stand just in awe. It's like the same thing when I'm talking with you guys in the comments and shit, like you, you bring up a point of something or you ask about like some way of doing things, would it work this way? And I'm like, oh damn, that's cool. I, I don't know. It's this cool, awesome, collaborative community that I get to be a part of every freaking day. And with the new soap apprentice doing her thing thing and approaching something that I've been doing and have done a bajillion times a different way, it teaches me something new and it makes my brain, you know, flex and hurt, which is good. You want your brain to hurt sometimes. That means it's growing or something. But yeah, this is this is cool. Oh, now, okay. So the process for for ice cream scoops, if you haven't freaking done it before, right? You're going to, the little layering the three colors here, that's just for our own design. This is what we wanted to do. You can do this however you want, but you're going to want to take a scooby scoop and press it in really good into that scoop, right? Make sure it's nice and tight in there and then scrape off the excess and then just use a little stopper, plunger thingy, and as long as your bubble bar recipe doesn't suck, they're not going to fall. They're going to stay nice and, you know, ice cream looking thing. You get it. And then these will dry on the counter overnight before we package them. So they will be firm enough for shipping. But the cool thing about solid bubble bars, should you have never like messed with them before, is they're not rock hard like a bath bomb, right? Or a soap. They're hard, but they're not so hard that you can't crumble them. For a good bubble bar, what you really want is something that can be easily crumbled under the running water in your bathtub so you can create those big epic bubble bubbles. And these in tests like freaking did wonderfully for that process. I actually quite enjoyed the complete absence of the cream of tartar as far as the using of these went. And each of these bath bombs are about, or bubble bars are about four ounces. So this particular batch got us seven scoops plus a little bit more for testing, which she got to do. She being the Soprentice, she got to take home the extras and experience her first ever, ever bubble bar. And it was one that she made and she freaking loved it. And that made me happy because she loved the thing that she made. And look at that with the beautiful, look, all the texture and the lamination and everything. And they're all very well, you know, firm and whatever. They're the perfect consistency to start doing the crumble crumble thing. And I'm, I'm going to show you this, like, as far as packaging and everything goes, just so you get an idea. This is not how we actually do this for shipping, though. We do wrap all these individually. That's beautiful. Oh, my God. We wrap these all individually in coffee filters and then put a little tag on them with the ingredients and the scent and everything. But I use the same soap, or the same box that I get from Paper Mart for my four pack of soaps for this. And it totally worked. So there's a four pack of four ounce ish um, each bubble bars and it's absolutely gorgeous. You just put the little lid on there and it looks stunning. It's all the things. Again, this is just for your purposes. They all get wrapped in some craft paper, but that is amazing. And there they are, the holiday bubble bars, the cute little ice cream scoops, and they are adorable. A couple different sizes as well. We showed you the ounceage for each of those and some ideas for packaging. As far as like bubble bar recipes are concerned, I think I've released like nine of those on the channel. So go check it out. I think there's even a playlist. 
that has them in there. So if you want a recipe, they're definitely there. Go check them out for sure. And as far as the new Soprentice goes and her skills, isn't she awesome? Yes, she is. She's amazing. And I am really ultimately glad that she wanted to do this because this first round of making bubble bars for her is going to be infinitely easier than making like the jelly rolls and stuff. So that's good. She gets her feet wet and learning the process of bubble bars without the added pressure of having to flatten them out, roll them up and cut them. So that's cool. If you are interested in these bubble bars, yeah, they're on the website. It's a thing. You can go check it out. If you are interested in scoring a, an awesome freebie and getting the discount code for Small Business Saturday early, subscribe to the newsletter. For those of you who are subscribed to the newsletter, hey, you did that thing. You went over to soapandclay.com, signed up for the newsletter, and you've been participating in 10 Days of Thanks. So thank you. Today is day seven, and we will be dropping the new freebie of the day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure to check your emails and may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting the channel and supporting the business and all the supporting things. This is why I do 10 days of thanks every year. It's a tradition that I will never let go of no matter what. Seriously, do you hear that? I might not survive. But yes, I always do want to thank you guys because you're amazing. You're epic. You are all of the things. And um, I'm out of here for today. I have a bathtub that is calling my name with these beautiful bubble bars. So I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of 10 Days of Thanks and another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.